And that block is your refusal to be exactly as you are. Since childhood, I had this attraction to piano and never I learned. So if you give me notes, I don't know to read. If you ask me where is the keys, I don't know. I usually play with my eyes closed. And the only thing that guides me is the sound. And this is how it starts. The no sound. And it followed, it is followed by the wave of one key. It's a wave. And in that wave, all music is. The silence of play before the play start is the infinite zero. It's the unknown. It's the infinite potentiality yet to manifest. Then the one key holds in it the whole potentiality in the most foundational signature. Now, how well you listen to that one key set what you play or how you play. Let's see how the play evolve and afterwards I will explain. started pattern started to appear I can say clearly these were not patterns that are set by intent but there is response to the pattern it's like exploration it unfolds now when you think about that if you consider a pattern as a fractal a self similar that repeats itself that's your movement of exploration a cloud has its fractalic movement, a tree grow in a fractalic movement, a wave in the ocean. So you are exactly like that. The infinite zero is now moving in those fractals in a consensus. Consensus means the exploration is without a conflict. There is no right and wrong. important thing and that's the mistakes free creative flow is the symphony of mistakes unguided by intention that's in 
intention. But it will come. You see? Working your way out of the mistake is letting the mistake dictate the direction. And direction is not linear, it's not from point A to point B, it's unfoldment of that fractalic movement. Now, your self-interest, your sort of preference, the keys that speaks to you, what you like, is constantly seeking the serendipity, the surprise, that which you cannot anticipate. Exactly as you are. creative flow is a meditative art meaning it's a not, it, it is not guided by conscious intention I think that term I heard it in one of the talk of uh, Krishnamurti and David Bohm and it's it really spoke to my heart because the conscious intention is the self and the fear of losing the self, as was expressed in the message, in the comment, is the fear of admitting the beauty that you cannot even anticipate, measure, it doesn't come from you, from your skills, yet it speaks your heart better than you can. Mm -hmm. 